Okay, so right now I'm in Dobrota. Dobrota is like a residential neighborhood here in um, Kotor. And it's different than Kotor like the city because it's the city on Kotor is more like inside the old town and inside the walls and here it's more like the beach and more swimming and it's close to the fjords and to the water. And today in this video I'm going to show you Dobrota a little bit because it's small, it's mostly for swimming and the hike that I did uh, through the walls of uh, the Kotor fortress. So I hope you enjoy it. So this is San Matthew's church from 1660. Unfortunately, it remains closed most of the time and is guarded by these giant walls. It is the oldest church here in Dobrota. You can see that they have a very beautiful dome and uh, of course the bells there that they ring every day it's really nice the sound i just heard it before and yeah it's the oldest catholic church here out of two there's only two churches here in Dobrota. very beautiful building unfortunately it remains closed for people basically all the time okay so this is one of the spots for swimming and you can see there the view is really cool right now in the morning it's a really nice morning really fresh and you can also see how clear the water is you can even see the sea star and some fish it's very beautiful very very nice something interesting here in Dobrota is that many people bought many investors bought like houses um, mansions castles very old that they just renovate them to live there to, uh, or make hotels or hostels or apartments for rent this is a good example and you can see many that are kind of old there from here you can see the church that I was showing uh, you at the beginning I'm in the other side of uh, the sea, the fjord, and here this place called, it's called Mu, it's like a tiny town that has nothing, it's mostly residential, and it just have this church and that's it. So this is a Kotor fortification. These walls are from the 14th to 19th century, they were built, and it took some time because it's not only this that is surrounded by this water that looks that is not very deep because it's kind of uh, the color is the color of water that is not very deep and you can see that the loop was completely closed in the 19th century and it took so much time because it goes up all the way to the mountains all the way and right now I'm going to try to go on top of them Okay, this is the Church of Our Lady of uh, Remedy. There is not too much to say. There is just a lot of um, churches going through the walls to the top of uh, the fortress. So we're just going to continue. Okay, so as you can see, I'm almost halfway from here even. The view is just amazing. You can see. How beautiful it is. Okay, so I'm basically in the top. I just need to go these stairs and go there. There is another path going like in zigzag, you know, not crossing just like this wall. And there is like some sort of uh, way to cross it. So I will just try to check that to come uh, going down because there is like a church and stuff. Let's see how it goes. Looks really, really nice and look again, the clouds and everything, really beautiful. Okay, I just wanted to show you this kind of way of making uh, this kind of holes is to, to protect and to attack basically this kind of line diagonal that is there. Since you are very close from it, it allows you to attack very efficiently without uh, getting uh, 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 receiving the attacks because basically from there, from a distance, it's very difficult to aim in a way that actually uh, can, can damage you. And these kind of uh, holes or windows or whatever you want to call it they're all the way into the into the uh, wall 
Okay, so this is the other road that I was telling you about in zigzag. And in order to enter, you need to cross through that little space and that stair that actually doesn't feel very safe at all. But once you are very uh, firm with your hands and everything, you can do it. And look, those ancient stones, and this is another church that basically is empty. We're going to check it now and also the end of that wall is on the top there the clouds doesn't allow us to see it but the zigzag goes all the way there we're not going to do that today it's just for me it just doesn't it's not worth it i want to just take care uh, take like be in the city more so but yeah okay so that's where we were the saint john castle in the walls and you can see here this is the church that I was showing you before it's completely empty it's really beautiful scenery and you can see from inside how they still have reminiscence of the painting that they used to have you can see one altar here and here more like a chapel you can see some damages there on how it looks to the walls. I wanted to show you, right now I'm going into the zigzag trail. Look how beautiful the view is from here. It's just so nice and smells very good, like, like Christmas to be honest, or sweet. I'm going down uh, the zigzag um, road from the city wall. You can see the Skurda river that is going here and it's crossing a bridge that basically goes to the river gate to the old town and yeah this gate was built in 18, 1840 to commemorate the attack of the uh, Ottoman navy one year earlier so this is one of the uh, entrance to the old town okay so that was the video of today i hope uh, you like it i'm doing trying these intros and outros uh, right now um just to wrap up everything i hope you like uh, the hiking it was just new year's eve i hope you enjoy new year's eve and yeah i hope 2023 is very good for you